history and biography demand a certain level of simplicity in storytelling, but Richard Nixon continues to defy any such efforts. Few modern presidents have divided America as did Richard Nixon. To his still large number of supporters, he was a visionary who kept America the leader of the world, even as he used his remarkable grasp of international affairs to help keep the world at peace. But his legions of detractors can never forgive his greatest claim to fame as the only president in American history to resign in disgrace. It has been more than 20 years since Watergate, and yet Richard Nixon remains a compelling figure of our national past. As far as I'm concerned, we've just begun to fight. Beware of one-liners when people tell you about Richard Nixon. Uh, 50 lines about Richard Nixon are probably not enough. He would uh, not hesitate to do whatever he felt he could do and could get away with that would help him to win, whatever the ethics of the situation. The ethic of the situation was win. In, in that sense, he was the quintessential American. Winning is everything. We didn't make it up. The press didn't make it up. It happened. And this great conspiracy existed, and uh, 32 people were going to go to jail for it. He was a conspiracy buff. And he liked intrigue, and he liked secret maneuverings of the FBI, and he liked to hear about what the CIA did, and so on. He just couldn't leave that stuff alone. The Nixon administration, with all its mistakes, did some wonderful things, started some wonderful things. And Nixon, as a man, I think, uh, redeemed himself at the end. He was a very hard-driving, brilliant, uh, demanding, visionary kind of leader. And when he was bad, he was really bad. And when he was good, he was great.